What's going on YouTube? Uh, my name is Yuri Infinity and today I decided to bring you a Ezreal mid lane commentary. As you can see our our team is uh, kind of messed up. We actually don't have any proper tanks. I was supposed to go bot lane but then uh, according to the rules of the pre-mates they get bot lane. So I decided instead to go Ezreal. Ezreal was what I wanted to play and I really didn't care where I go so I just picked out the one of the lanes more appropriate for for him. Either way, our team is, as I previously mentioned, very weird because we actually have no tanks except for Leona, but she's gonna take a, li a little bit to get the tankiness. And yeah, we have a Kazakh stop and a Twitch in the jungle, and the yeah, Ezreal mid. So yeah, it's uh, it's good. it's it was actually a pretty fun game. Actually, Twitch was pretty good, and it was thanks to him that I was capable of actually uh, owning the lane, uh, getting so far ahead in it. He actually he responded very well, and was kind of a player that uh, that you, you know that you can follow, that you know that you can count on because he's going to be there. <clears throat> you can see that, but just by the way the player, just when you try to do something, if the players follow or not, you can see if you can trust him. Here comes Twitch yet for the, another gank, and unfortunately uh, we managed to kill him, Twitch takes the kill, but I couldn't uh, survive the last of Ignite, and I died just there. Uh, Jace got the kill, so I didn't really get much of an advantage in my lane, even though we got more golds out of it, so, but yeah, it still it puts me a little bit behind. Uh, when Jace got the lane he was already level 6 and I was still level 5, so he's got like that little large difference and the gold. Which is yeah a little bit bad, but in the end it's gonna be all right. So continuing with it, it's kind of just yeah this is gonna be the poking farming game. We're not gonna do much. It's like we're not gonna let each other roam the lanes because none of us can push enough to actually roam because we can just push back. And then we're gonna play the poking game, trying to trying to burst down, trying to poke down someone so that we can finish them off. So yeah, it's actually. It's pretty amusing, boring and amusing at the same time. It's mostly just farming and that flash, yeah, that flash was so OP, guys. That flash is like the next level mind, mind game shit. It's it's very strong, I almost fell for it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It happens, it happens, mistakes like that happen. And either way, the advantage that I hold is that um, even though Jace might burst me down, I have the life steal from the Doran's Blade and the Vampire Acceptor to get myself back up in the game. While Jace wastes his mana, even though he has a Tear of Goddess, it doesn't mean that you actually have uh, eternal refills and constant mana if you keep using abusing your mana like that. Either way, uh, if I try to gank me, I was really pretty low, so I backed away a lot. And Twitch, he, Twitch, he tried to help me, as you can see. And he got a kill, but he also ended up dying, which gave Jace double buff. Oh god, the double buff. Yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty screwed because I'm I have no mana at all, and the dude is back with mana right in the red buff. So uh, right there, it was just kind of late. I Twitch was coming. He did good. First, first point. He did good in coming back to the lane. For, uh, I was pushed. Second, he had given the Jace the double buff, so he had to gank the lane to recover the double buffs. Otherwise, we would still we would get behind, and we also got a kill from him. The, the only thing that I pretty much did was just bait. Uh, Jace was almost incredibly low. All I have to do was like uh, a little bit for it, get an auto attack, maybe a spell, and then just flash away. And we got a kill and got more money and back the double buffs. Once again, mentioning the double buffs because double buff is very important in the game. So as you can see, yeah, Jace uh, just got a little bit, little bit overboard with the uh, with the play, and he got himself screwed up. Uh, interesting fact: he did not go to base immediately. I thought he would go to base, but there he is. So I just used my E to try and land a skill shot, and it made it forced him to waste the flash. So it was pretty worth it for me. And now I get to push the lane freely. Hooray! All right, so he comes back. He jumps on me. Good thing about Azrael is that I can just arc and shift away. Although, uh, something very interesting is gonna happen pretty soon. Uh, not about it right now, but as you can see, there goes Jace. I was like, yeah, yeah I, I have to admit, I, I could have dodged that. I could have dodged that uh, EQ from Jace and then just uh, land a few skill shots a little bit better. But yeah, in the end, it was Twitch doing all the work and I just sent out a note to help. So, 
uh, uh, for the fact, uh, uh, take notice guys that I recalled near the red buff. The reason why I did that was because I actually paid attention to where Vi was after the after I got so low and I saw that she was leaving bot lane she could be heading to the mid lane while I was trying to push so I decided to go into the red buff to further our distances right here I know that Vi can get to me it actually uh, I was actually pushing and I was actually right nearby her I knew that she could get to me but I also noticed that Twitch was uh, in the race and as I said before Twitch is like is one of the is one of the players in this game that I can actually count on because of what he has shown to me, he's always appearing in the mid lane when the opportunity surges, he's always coming when I'm in trouble, so I knew I could count on him, and thanks to that, we managed to get yet another kill on the mid lane. <coughs> so, the team decides to do Dragon, I don't know if they were all pre med actually. Either way, the team decides to do Dragon, we do Dragon, Jace gets a little bit overextended, it comes to this point where I can, I can beat him, I can, I can easily beat him. We get yet another kill, Twitch passes on the mid lane, takes the chances. It's actually been pretty good. The Twitch, it's like, I don't know, I don't see Jace warding much. So, yeah, it's kind of... Maybe could avoid so much ganks, either way. Uh, not, and I'm not sure, so... I could have used Build Charter over there to stop the Vi slow her, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. And right about here, I actually used Build Charter to get the take down the Mundo, so yeah, I didn't take down Vi, but took down the Mundo. It wasn't certain that I would kill her though. But I could have used it. In the end, it was kind of, it was kind of for the best that I didn't use. But yeah, I forgot you. Ah, this is just like one big massive fight. No, nobody cares about that. Just go back to push my lane because Jace is really working on pushing it. And you might be wondering, well, my God, why aren't you not using the? Why aren't you using smart cast on Ezreal? Are you a noob? Uh, I'm kind of lazy. Uh, I mean, there was one point in which I used Smartcast, but then I don't remember why I had to reinstall the League of Legends. Uh, so, I, we, without the Smartcast, I, I completely forgot about it, and ever since then, I don't give myself the trouble of relearning the Smartcast. It's like I, I wasn't like very used to it either way, it was just practicing by the time. Anyway, it works for me, so. <laughs> it's just I think it's just about preference even though generally smart cast is better But in my case just a laziness So as you can see the the fights of mid lane and there's been a lot of ganks I feel sorry for Jace, but the opportunity surges Twitch takes advantage of it and we just stack on kills stack on the money And soon we're gonna see and we're stacking on objectives because we can keep our pressure on the fields and right here well fly f just goes Full, just goes full on on me and yeah it was I had to flash I had to bury I had to work in shift and right here I'm gonna do the pos uh, possibly the dumbest thing ever which is to arc in shift into a low HP Vi near a almost full HP Jace which caused me to die pathetically thanks to my brilliant idea so yeah guys if you want if you want to avoid that man please do if you can his foot's only just fine, I could do it perfectly. Alright, as you can see, Jess just, he just has no chance. I tried to see if I could kill him, but he wasn't there. He dodged it. He was actually thinking about it. And right here, you, you this is the, the best skill shots you west, guys. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but I used two skill shots and I filled them both one millimeter away from Jace. I'm, I'm kind of awesome as, as Adriel. I mean, I like the champion a lot, I've been playing him a lot, but I, I still rock it. I mean, those skill shots, those skill shots were were definitely the best. So, I pushed down mid lane, now we're gonna push down bot because there's the opportunity to. For some reason, I don't know how Kha'Zix can be destroying Mundo. It's uh, interesting to see. I mean, early, yeah, but when Mundo gets the tankiness, I don't know. Alright, initiation from Vi, and yeah, all hell breaks loose. I'm just saying that, like, ah, oh, maybe I can do something, but something now. Maybe we can do the plays, maybe a team fight can occur. No, yeah, nothing happens. Except that we got killed. Stupidly killed. J uh, Twitch tried to go there just to pick up a cheesy kill, but then he ended up dying, so not really worth it. Since he is actually holding a lot of money, because he's fat as hell. Alright, I'm going to top lane because I want to help Kha'Zix. But in the end, Mundo, I don't know if it was bored or if he was afraid, it did not happen. 
uh, fight occurs mid lane, they kill Jace, but something really, really stupid is that I don't know where everyone else is, but I see the opportunity to go to Mundo and a wild fire appears right in front of my face. Uh, I wasted flash and oh, I, I just died stupidly once again. So yeah, this is a perfect video with several occasions of what not to do guys, I hope you can learn from them. And yeah, there, there's nothing else that I can tell you besides it was pretty stupid. I didn't know where everyone else was, I just went for Mundo as soon as I saw that low HP. But, well, right, to the gangbang, uh, almost all of the members up for Jace, he still almost killed Caitlyn and Caitlyn got really low because of the, uh, of the opponent's Caitlyn's ult. So as you can guess, it's a normal game, yeah. He'll figure. And so, since we now have the opportunity to push on bot lane, Mia Caitlyn just destroy it, plus an inhibitor. And we head on to mid lane to do the exact same thing. And two, four objectives just like that, well, it was pretty good for us. We, I wanted to get a good off, but yeah, guess what? Alright, so Baron time. We put on two wards, they thought there wasn't any more. Kazakhs does an incredible job at stealing it. We just go there, we finish themselves up. So keep in mind though that I Arkan shifted inside the pit baron the Baron Pit but, and became the focus of Vibe, but I only did it when everyone else was already so far away from where we so uh, in the back of the fights uh, being focused by the other team members. So I only had to deal with Vi and I could and I could easily deal with Vi because right now I have we have a huge advantage. And I should probably go base and waste this money, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. Mundo gets a little bit too overextended, we kill him, we take down the turret, but then all hell breaks loose. I really don't want to be here because I don't have mana, And but yeah, team just kind of takes care of the deal, and there goes Caitlyn just applying the pressure, and GG, they surrender, and we win the game. Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this commentary, please subscribe, share and like this video if you want to see more, it really helps my channel grow. Also, feel free to check out my channel for other videos and you can also check out these two that I put right here, you know. Is that Midlane? Jigsaw? Just press those. Also remember to subscribe. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope to see you all next time and GG.